Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, again we are gathered around this Eucharistic table. Let us give thanks to the Lord for giving us this opportunity to celebrate the Eucharist. To prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us acknowledge our sins and ask God's pardon and mercy. You came to reconcile us to the Father and to one another. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose providence never fails in its design, keep from us, we humbly beseech you, all that might harm us, and grant all that works for our good. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Tobit. Anna sat watching the road by which her son was to come. When she saw him coming, she explained to his father, Tobit, your son is coming and the man who traveled with him. Raphael said to Tobiah before he reached his father, I am certain that his eyes will be opened. Smear the fish gall on them. This medicine will make the cataract shrink and peel off from his eyes. Then your father will again be able to see the light of day. Then Anna ran up to her son, threw her arms around him, and said to him, Now that I have seen you again, son, I am ready to die. And she sobbed aloud. Tobit got up and stumbled out through the courtyard gate. Tobiah went up to him with a fish gall in his hand and holding him firmly blew into his eyes. Carriage, father, he said. Next, he smeared the medicine on his eyes and it made them smart. Then, Beginning at the corners of Tobit's eyes, Tobiah used both hands to peel off the cataracts. 
When Tobit saw his son, he threw his arms around him and wept. He exclaimed, I can see you, son, the light of my eyes. Then he said, Blessed be God, and praise be his great name, and blessed be all his holy angels. May his holy name be praised throughout all the ages, because it was he who scourged me, and it is he who has had mercy on me. Behold, I now see my son, Tobiah. Then Tobit went back in, rejoicing and praising God with full voice for everything that had happened. Tobiah told his father that the Lord God had granted him a successful journey, that he had brought back the money, and that he had married Ragel's daughter, Sarah, who would arrive shortly, for she was approaching the gate of Nineveh. Tobit and Anna rejoiced and went out to the gate of Nineveh to meet their daughter-in-law. When the people of Nineveh saw Tobit walking along briskly with no one leading him by the hand, they were amazed. Before them all, Tobit proclaimed how God had mercifully restored sight to his eyes. When Tobit reached Sarah, the wife of his son Tobiah, he greeted her, Welcome, my daughter. Blessed be your God for bringing you to us, daughter. Blessed is your father, and blessed is my son Tobiah, and blessed are you, daughter. Welcome to your home with blessing and joy. Come in, daughter, that day there was joy for all the Jews who live in Nineveh. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God while I live. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Praise the Lord, my soul. The fatherless and the widow he sustains. But the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, my soul. Please stand. Spirit and life, you have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was teaching in the temple area, he said, How do the scribes claim that the Christ is the son of David? David himself, inspired by the Holy Spirit, said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I place your enemies under your feet. David himself calls him Lord. So how is he his son? The great crowd heard this with delight. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Isang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Sa loob po ng intramuros, ay may mga karitela 
na pwedeng rentahan. I do not know how much they charge per person. Pansinin ninyo yung kabayo sa karitela. May takip ang bahagi ng mga mata. Ang tawag po doon sa Ingles ay blinders. Bakit nilalagyan ang kabayo sa karitela ng takip sa bahagi ng mata? What do you think is the reason? There are blinders. One reason is gusto nila yung kabayo focus sa harapan. Kasi yung kabayo, yung mata ng kabayo, katulad ng ibang mga hayop, pwede rin tumingin sa harap, pwede rin tumingin dito, pwede rin tumingin doon. Tayo, ganun lang eh, tsaka kaliwat kanan. Sila, they can even look at the back. There would be so many distractions. Magiging palinga-linga yung kabayo. Mawawala sa focus. Siguro, inisip ko kung minsan, yung mga nagsisimba, baka dapat kailangan din may blinders, eh, no? Ganun lang. Para hindi palinga-linga. Sino ba tong katabi ko? Mukhang maganda sa otin tong katabi ko, ah. No? Okay. But, though it is good that the horses will be focused on the direction ahead, it can also limit His vision. It can also, the blinders can also limit what the horses can see. Mga, ginang, mga ginigil kong kapatid, sa panahon ni Jesus, ang pagkaisip nila ng mga tao sa Mesiyas ay ito. Darating ang Mesiyas para palayain ang bayang Israel mula sa pagkaalipin ng mga dayuhan. Ang tingin nila sa Mesiyas ay political savior. Magpapalaya sa kanila sa pangaalipin ng mga Romano. It is for this, for this reason that the Lord in His preaching, in His life, was very, very careful. He wanted to avoid the title of Messiah unless it is very clear to the people what it means. Because the people is so focused on one thing. The Messiah is a political savior. The Messiah is a political leader, liberator. They forgot that the Messiah is more than that. At yun ang gusto nang sabihin ng Panginoon sa ibang hell yun natin ngayon. Parang the the Lord seems to be teasing the scribes and the Pharisees. Look, David called the Lord, Lord. So how could the Lord, how could David be greater than the Lord? You tell, the, you tell me that the Messiah is the son of David, but David himself is calling the Lord, Lord. How can the son be greater than the father? That's why the people, the great crowd heard this with delight. Nangingiti sila kasi nalagay na naman ang mga leaders sa alangan ng sitwasyon. What's the point of Jesus? The point of Jesus is this, do not limit your vision. Sometimes you have to think out of the box. Kumisan ang solusyon kasi natin sa problema, limitado sa ilang solusyon. Bakit hindi natin isipin? Ano pa ba ang pwede nating gawin? Ano pa ba ang pwede nating paraan na subukan? 
we were afraid many times to think out of the box. Eh, hindi naman yan ginagawa before eh. No? Hindi naman ganyan dati eh. Eh, sabi ko nga sa inyo one time, hindi lahat ng nakasanayan dapat ipagpatuloy. Hindi lahat ng nakaugalian dapat patuloy na gawin. May mga bagay na dapat nating baguhin kahit na nakasanayan. Eh hindi eh. Madalas iniisip natin, dito na ako nasanay eh. Ito lang yung alam ko. Ito lang ang paraan na nakasanayan ko. Today, the Lord is inviting us to think outside the box. Because sometimes the solutions cannot be found inside the box. The solutions are out of it. Now, tayo ba'y katulad ng mga kabayo na iisa lang ang direksyon? O tayo ay malawak ang pananaw, malawak ang pag-iisip, malawak ang paniniwala. Saan tayo inaanyayahan ng Diyos sa umagang ito upang gawin? Saan tayo inaakay ng Diyos? Tignan natin at huwag tayong matakot. Kapag ang Diyos ang umakay, dadalin tayo sa mas mainam na katatayuan sa buhay. Pag ang Diyos ang umakay, mas dadalin tayo sa mas mabuting kalagayan. Amen. Please stand. It is our faith in Jesus, the Christ of God, which unites us all members of this community. In His name, let us bring our intentions before the Father as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. The church leaders may be zealous in proclaiming the truth of the divinity of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That unity, peace, and harmony may become a reality, especially in nations where people suffer in discrimination on account of race, gender, class, or religion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That young people may recognize the voice of Christ calling them to a life of service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may receive comfort and strength from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our beloved dead may rest in the peace of Christ's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father of Jesus Christ, we acknowledge you as our only Lord. Keep us under your care and grant the prayers we have made. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you form it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest please kneel you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God Father, and so with courage we say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace please kneel Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Governed by your Spirit, we pray, O Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.
Thank you.